Okay, I want to talk about the CSS font property, font family and font. Now, when you're specifying properties for fonts, as you can see over here in my CSS file, I have a whole long list of them. Font style, this is whether or not it's normal or italic. So you're wrapping EM tags around something is the same as making it italic. Font variant is normal or small caps. So small caps is everything in the same size as it is in lowercase, but it's written with capital letters. If I were to change this like this, there we are. This is small caps. There we go, put it back the way it was. Uh, font weight, you can write this as normal, bold, light, or bolder and lighter. Or you can use any one of the numbers 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, or 900. Um, 100, 300, 500, 700, 900 are roughly equivalent to the lighter through bolder values. Font size, using any value you want, whether it or unit you want, it's pixels, REMs, EMs, percentages, um, VW, VH, VVIN, VMAX. Uh, any one of the uh, units of measure can be used for font size. Line height can be either a unitless value like I have here and then it's just a multiple of whatever the font size is or you can put in an actual value in pixels or percentages REMs EMs whatever you like and then font family you have your font stack now the reason I have all these properties out here is to show you the shorthand font property the shorthand font property as my comments say here size and family are always required so at a minimum I could combine the two values like this. So this line is the same as line 13 and line 15. We're just combining those two things. Alternatively, we can take that, we can also add in all of these properties or some of these properties. This is the order in which they have to be written. Font family always comes last. Font size would fit in this position out of all these properties, but we could say normal or, yeah, we'll do normal, small caps, font weight is 500, font size is 20 pixels. Now line height, you don't just write a number because you could do something like that. And then if you messed up the order, just to make this clear, what we do is in between these two values, we put a forward slash like that. So 500 is the weight, or I can use the keywords light, bold, and so on. Let's see if I change this to a 900, we get the much bolder text. If I change the line height to five instead of 1.5, there we have it, five times 20 pixels, so it's 100 pixels per line. Small caps, we could put this back to normal, like that, and we can change this to italic like that. So this is the font shorthand property. You can write it as many times as you want. Um, I've written all the properties individually, then I've written font, and I've written font again. This one is just overwriting all this. So that's why we were getting the rendering of those values. Is Whatever comes last, that's the thing that's going to win out. All right, so I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.